Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. Hey, it's Anthony. Hey, it's another episode of P1VP2, and we're returning with Super Mario if was, World. If I was Mario <laughs> right now, I'd be like, why Why am I doing this? Uh, man? This princess better be worth it. Oh, Jesus. You don't even know. So this we're in Iggy's castle. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering if, if the Stooges are going to be here. I can't it, believe. It would kind of, I'm wondering what kind of Iggy we're talking about here. Are we talking Iggy Pop and the Stooges, no, or are we talking like Azalea? Iggy Azalea. Okay. Wow. So, I don't need that. <laughs> well, obviously that's more going to be useful if you, uh, you know. Well, there was a P block on the ground, I think. Oh, you're shit. supposed to use that. Okay, hold up. So check it out. You ready for this? Yes. Mario can twerk. Yes. No, like, give me a beat, Josh. My anaconda, my anaconda, what button that you got, my huh? But you know that part of the song is the Actually, thing. I don't. I... You don't. It's from. It's from Big Butts. Is it? Yes, that part is actually Sir Mix a Lot. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. Number one, I don't have a snake. It's a very dangerous animal to keep around the house. This is a good point, and obviously he was referring to an actual anaconda, because he can afford to have one of those. And another thing is that I did not know that anacondas liked bread. Lettuce. They prefer the lettuce. But why do they want buns? Well, are you just going to have lettuce around a I didn't know patty? What are that you, vegan? They had. They you know had? what? I actually think that this particular... They had? They had. Han. Vegan. Shut up, Josh! That's a good point. Um... Hey, so did you know that... Oh, uh, Joe! My God, that one always times. got me as a kid. I and I always it. knew I was... This music We're makes me feel stupid. Yes. Hearing that music, it's just... To any gamer who was around when this game came out, it just it embeds in your soul, and hearing that noise is a reaffirmation that you suck. <laughs> like, that's, that's just how you feel. You're sitting there like... I'm terrible. But worthless, I let the princess down. I'm not gonna lie to you. She needed me. This Iggy, this um, this guy that I'm gonna fight, mm -hmm. he was actually always a challenge to me. What? Yeah, because he, you can't kill him by stomping him three times. Well, well, technically you can if you stomp him the right three times. Well, you no. You just gotta knock him off the platform. I know, but that's the thing. I, I, I never... You were just not good? Okay, we'll see yeah. how it goes. Let's see if you can redeem yourself. Well, what you... Yeah, I was having a hard time with him. You... You gotta jump to the side. Yes, but he always falls in the direction the platform is facing. It's leaning. Yeah. So you have to wait until it's leaning one way, and then jump away, and then lean back. Oh... Correct. I was it's, just jumping on this dude. That's probably what took you so long. You were undoing your own like, work. This guy is just a challenge. Alright, hold on, hold on. To one of the most brutal things ever. Uh, Mario's defeated his enemy and then blows up his house! <laughs> <laughs> because that was necessary! Mario's defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in an egg. Together they now travel to Donut Land. I want to know how he's saying thank you from inside an egg. It's, that the, the, the anatomy of a like, Yoshi is very confusing. It's like, it's like a message about, you know, it's it's beating after 18 days, the hardest beating. Is that what that was? Was it's this an, the original anti-abortion message? the original anti-abortion, like, not pro- like, pro-life. My heart That's is beating shit. after I'm inside the belly. And yes, favorite power-up. Listen, you know, I understand that the Fire Flower is a classic power-up, but I'm not even gonna lie. As a kid, I always did whatever I could to have the, uh, Let me to have you. the flying kid. I Let's prefer it to the Fire Josh. Flower so much. Let me ask you a question. Did you also try to stay flying as long as you could? Well, that was kind of the point of the game. If you're not doing that, you're not... But the, point of the, game is, the point of the game is to rescue the princess. Clearly, your priorities is you're not so straight. Kind of secondary. I don't really care about her. I can fly! Okay? Go back up there. You can fly again. Okay? From you know, you can get a life of fulfillment with the princess. I'll get a life of fulfillment from I can fly. What have you done recently? I can fly and still have a princess. Really? Yep. Where's your princess? She's locked away in a castle with Bowser. Yeah, but you know what's funny? And he's probably having a lot of unmarital sex with her. That sounds to me like you're just really living a very stressed out life worrying about this woman. Well, I have no stress. I'm flying. You're actually flying to her, though. 
Says you. And she's still uh, having a lot of premarital sex um, with Bowser. Scuba Duba. Yep. With a living dragon. Um, Scuba Duba. Okay. Um, Scuba. Ah, no, I meant to hit the one on the right. Yeah, of course you did, Josh. Middle. And then left. Yep. How do you do this? You just, I just remember the order. It's left, middle, right, left, middle, left. It's always it's, different. Nope. Little known fact. Not always different. It's always that different. That one right there is preset. That's why I said I remember it. Because you can't remember something that's always different. And Yoshi flying! It sucked to have Yoshi this is fly, how flying because you works. can't stay up there. Flying works with I can ride on a horse and fly. He's not a horse. A dragon horse. He's a dinosaur. Dragon horse -asaur. Is What kind of Which a dinosaur? Which sounds like a really terrible power What kind of a robot. dinosaur is Yoshi? I think he's, he's like a, a velociraptor. He's a... Flargosaurus. I think he's like a velociraptor. Uh, theoretically? He's a velociraptor. Well... He's a velociraptor. Is he a velociraptor at heart? He's a velociraptor. Is he... Aren't we all velociraptors in our own special mm -hmm. way? I, I don't know how you are able to correlate one thing with the other. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip... And also, is that a football player? Yes. That is, uh, Johnny Unitas. What happened? Did he get, like, kicked out or something? He's not working for Bowser now, or...? Well, obviously, he's not a very good football player because he's throwing baseballs. Do you know that the average football player... <laughs> I don't know if you missed that. He's throwing baseballs. The average football player in the NFL has a career span of one season. Did you know that the average football player in the NFL plays football? And did you know that one out of... Ten I'm not even going to pretend like I don't love football. I actually love it far more Do than you Anthony know that because I'm, you know, American. Uh, and I'm a, I'm American too, Josh. Mm, yes. Yeah, Shut up. Listen, no. Uh, in all legitimacy, actually, um, I recently was watching uh, Last Weekend with John Oliver. Or Last Weekend Tonight, whatever. With John Oliver. And he was making a whole joke about how when uh, so uh, Sonia Sotomayor was elected uh, yeah. to the Supreme Court, yeah. how every news outlet was like, sort of, Myrtle was like, Sotomayor, uh, the child of Puerto Rican immigrants, uh, Sotomayor, <laughs> a Puerto Rican immigrant child, Sotomayor, an immigrant, na not native to the US, and it's like, no, she's not an immigrant. She's if she is an immigrant, <laughs> literally anyone is an immigrant. She's an American citizen. But everybody, Always, you know what? It's funny though, because like for for like everybody who's not Hispanic, mm -hmm. we're all Mexicans. Yes, but you are. Though. And it's not. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not butthurt about it. It's just we all look alike. <laughs> this completely appropriate non-racist message brought to you by P1 VP2. <laughs> Don't hate Mexicans. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're getting a little bit deep here. We're like, you know, guys, why can't we be friends? Why can't we? Uh, Are we gonna sing again, Josh? No, we're not gonna sing right now because I'm too busy trying not to die from sand. We're gonna. Wow, this camera. Whoever this camera crew is sucks. I hate these levels. Why can't we just play through the level? Because that would make sense. Uh, no, I understand. They wanted to, again, like I said, it's deceptive simplicity. You want to establish some type of difference even among the same thing. Applying a scroll automatically changes the level, and now the pacing of the level is outside of your control, and you've got to figure it out. It makes a lot of sense, because it doesn't change a lot while still changing everything. All right, before we end off, uh, I know technically it's Anthony's next play, but um, we had talked, and we're not going to do a, most of the... We're like, we'll eventually do like a bonus round situation where we show you the special levels and this, that, or the other, but for the most part, we're just going to follow the forward path to Bowser. That being said, however, uh, there is one special level that I refuse to not get. Oh, Lord, I think I forgot. Yeah, I'm a jerk. I completely forgot. Oh, uh, yeah, I screwed that up. What? I needed to come in here with, uh... <clears throat> with Yoshi? No, actually. I needed to come in here with, With uh, Jesus? Always. How else am I gonna get through? With Donald but Trump? I needed to come in here with the, uh... Um, Michelle the Obama? The cape. The None of those things CEO is a cape. CEO of Circuit City? 
Jonathan Serpent. With that was obviously his name. A blockbuster, yeah. bl a blockbuster employee. Hold on, let me do this real quick. I know that we're now. I'm just kind of killing time, but I'm gonna do it anyways. This is a an early freebie of hey, here's how you do something cool in the level. With people from Radio Shack. Two people from Radio Shack actually. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'll do Donna Plains one with by flying that, as much as I can. With the can you hear me guy now from the Verizon commercials? Can you hear me guy now? Hey, do you know what's really strange, what's really cool about those commercials? Number one, about the Verizon I'm commercials. I'm waiting to did hear what's know? so cool about the can you hear me guy now. Did you hear, can you hear me now guy? There you go. Shut That's up. Alright, did you know that that guy actually works for Verizon? Well, I'm assuming such. All, everybody who's in that commercial and any of the can you hear me now, they're part of the testing department from Verizon. They yeah, are they are all actually they're not actors, they were all actual Verizon employees and that's their actual job. Is to say can you hear me now? Yes, they literally make phone calls from all around the world on the and the country to just just check the signal. I don't know that that I don't Verizon know that is a great, happen. great company. They have Great signal, great prizes. For those who are curious, this episode brought to you by Verizon. <laughs> um, Verizon, for all your wireless needs, then. Um, that's not their theme song, but it should be. It should be. Okay. Oh, oh mother God. of pearl! All right, Josh. Okay, no. okay. You know what? I'm, okay. No! No, I refuse. Okay, this game is a butt. And it's stupid, and it's dumb, also dumb. And also it's stupid, and I love it so much. I can't believe you Why? did that, Josh. You're useless. I am. Uh, oh, this was different last time. Because uh, you did it wrong. Just get out of there. Mm, you did it wrong, Josh. I know. You're doing it wrong. I know. Oh, my God. Okay. What I got to do is I that. mean, what a That's waste of time. This is... You know... This is just a waste of time and valuable, valuable time. Yes, fat mother of pearl. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Aha! No! What are you doing, Josh? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. That's just that's just the honest truth. Like that's just Give me the control, Josh. You as a friend and as a brother. Give me the control. No, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay. Open Here's the door. A, let me explain. At the beginning of the level, Hit it. if you fly up, no. Not it. If you fly, there we go. At the beginning of the level, if you fly up to the left, you'll notice there's a platform basically right above where you start. I know. If you get to go through that path, the little secret level opens up above this one, which is just a power-up spot. I'm gonna do it. So you're gonna go I back to a level. Get, you know what? We're gonna. We're gonna. I'm gonna go back to. I am going to do this for my honor and for America. And I'm gonna do this for the departed ghost of Chester A. Arthur. And for Chesty Puller from the United States Marine Corps. I don't. I don't. I swear to God, you And me for me. the Can You Hear Me Now guy. Well, definitely for him. Because Verizon's always meeting my cellular and wireless needs. It's subsidiary of Viacom. <laughs> I don't see They're not actually a subsidiary of Viacom, but it just, it feels. It, it feels. It wouldn't be awesome if Verizon actually sponsored us. <laughs> right. <laughs> All of a sudden we get an email. So we noticed you guys decided to talk great about uh, Verizon. Have you considered talking about Verizon? Oh. Right next to the exit? Really? No. Go get I refuse. Go get, go. I'm going to go get it. You don't have to tell me to go get my girl. I was meant to get her. She's always been mine. Josh, if you fail one more time, what are you doing? I, I was understand. trying to find another uh, no, another worry, power up spot. Just, just go. As a backup. Just go. I will go. Just Josh. No. 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 Oh my god! I thought that thing was gonna hit you. I did. I wanted to make it. I did that on purpose. I wanted to make it exciting. Okay. <laughs> so now. 46 times the charm. Okay, can you guys tell I'm like so good at video games, you guys? Yeah, you suck, So Josh. good at video games, I'm All like right. so best at Mario. Right, ready? I'm MLG Pro. Okay, Josh, go. I feel like I'm gonna get to this level now, and I know what it is, and it- Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters to me. 
Okay, Josh, that's it. That's it. Here's you suck. At. Here's where I'm at. Here's where I'm at. Here's where I'm at. You ready for it? My life is alive! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in on an episode where we talk about Josh's failures in life. Josh, just one time. Last, is that appropriate? Oh, it is appropriate. It's Josh. almost as appropriate as how appropriate the pricing and gigawatt, Josh. The gigabyte presentation you know how, you, structure you know how, of Verizon's you know local and long distance I feel, calling and data is. I feel like thank you for choosing. I feel like Verizon. the guy who who overpriced by one dollar two more, and the price is right. Well, it's your fault lost. for guessing three fifty because nothing in a store is three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> if you ever see the price tag say three fifty, no, it's three forty nine ninety nine. Get it together. <laughs> okay. Get it. Right. Actually, I feel like the guy who said three forty nine, and then the chick next to me is like three fifty, and then it turns out to be like three fifty nine, and then I just want to punch a woman on national <laughs> TV, like right. just stare at her. <laughs> oh, you didn't. Oh, you did not. I did. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in on another episode of P1VP2. We'll catch you on next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends.